Hey, what's up y'all? It's Nayla Risa. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to come just to do a real quick video to show you how you can recess the cap on your wig if it's too big. So if you recently purchased a unit, uh, most likely online, and if the cap is too big, we're going to fix that today, okay? It's super simple, super quick. But before we jump right into it, please stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, y'all, so today I'm going to start with this 22-inch body wave unit that I recently purchased from Love Me Hair. And this was actually a U-part unit that was a little too big for me in the back, so we're going to recess that today. Now, I like to start by taking my unit and flipping it inside out for the resizing process. So if you have a mannequin head with a tripod, that's going to be your best approach to keep your unit in place while you resize it. And of course, the only materials that you need are needy wind thread, which you can find at your local beauty supply store. Now the key to resizing your unit is by pulling the tracks closer together with needle and thread. As you can see, I like to start sewing from the back because that's typically where the bulge on my wigs are most visible, but you can start sewing anywhere you like. Now here's a close up on the sewing technique that I like to use. This is actually called the lock stitch method. So with this method, as you can see, all I'm doing here is I'm grabbing two tracks with my needle. I'm wrapping the thread around the needle and pulling it through to create a small knot. And I'll continue to use this method throughout this video. Now, if you're unsure exactly how many rows you need to do, what you can do is try on the unit and mark exactly where you want your unit to stop in the back prior to resizing, or you can just compare it to the circumference of your head. But I did the first option because it was quicker for me. All right, so I am done. Um, three rows were perfect for me. You can do additional rows if you like. Just be mindful of how many rows you do. Since you are pulling two tracks per row, you definitely don't wanna make your unit too small. And here's a quick visual of what the spacing on the cap used to look like before we resized it. And this is what it looks like after. As you can see, we got rid of a lot of that unnecessary cap space. The tracks still lay nice and flat and you can barely see the stitching pattern once you flip your unit back over. Okay, so the final step is to try on your unit to make sure it fits properly. In this case, I did just place it back on the mannequin head, but you can already see a huge difference. It doesn't hang off the nape of the neck, um, and it's a perfect fit for me. All right, y'all, so we are done with the resizing process for this unit, but I will post another video shortly just showing you how I styled this unit to get this silky straight look. <laughs> 